hello to everyone today we are going to discuss about uh, single phase ac circuits so alternating circuits alternating current circuits before going to discuss about the fundamentals of single phase ac circuits so first of all we have to know what is alternating current so as the name itself indicates the magnitude will alternate by time so when the time passes the magnitude is also changes sometimes it will be zero sometimes it will be goes to maximum and sometimes goes to zero again and goes to negative peak and again makes zero so the alternatively the magnitude will change so how this alternating current will produce so how can we produce this alternating current so we already discussed in the previous lectures about, so you can search in the play playlist in basic electrical engineering so generation of alternating current by using dc machines concepts uh, transformers machines and um, electromagnetism concepts so you can watch those so basically we can generate an alternating quantity when we when a conductor it cuts a magnetic flux an emf is induced in the conductor so it's a faraday's loss depending on that uh, we can generate electrical energy especially the sinusoidal functions so when we go uh, when we started about this uh, single phase means which will have only a phase in neutral the magnitude is changes so first of all we have to know the fundamentals in ac circuits uh, some terminology we have to know those terminology is uh, first one we can discuss about uh, waveform wave what is a waveform means that a waveform is a graph which will indicates the different uh, magnitudes when the time changes so we can have an x axis uh, and y axis we can place a time on the x axis on y axis we can uh, take a magnitude of that graph or waveform it will changes so if suppose uh, here let me take time so some waveform like this that means when time passes the magnitude will changes magnitude will changes from 0 to increases again randomly increases or randomly decreases and goes to zero again randomly decreases to negative so this is uh, uh, not particularly increasing decreasing it may be like this also so it particularly changes with uh, magnitude will changes by time okay so a waveform so you can define waveform as a graph a graph in which the instantaneous values of any quantity is plotted against the time okay a graph in which which instantaneous instantaneous values of any quantity d is plotted against time against time so i think uh, everybody is clear about this waveform next one is cycle so most of the time we can discuss about uh, positive cycle negative cycles like this we'll talk about this uh, cycle is defined as one complete set of positive and negative values one complete set of positive and negative values of an, an alternating quantity is called a cycle so that means uh, positive and negative values means suppose if you take a sinusoidal waveform so it will be have a positive values and negative values okay so one complete cycle means it at point we start at zero and it will reach us this point it will be known as a complete cycle it will have some positive values and negative values and second uh, third one is the frequency the frequency that the uh, definition for frequency is number of oscillations per second 
so number of oscillations per second number of oscillations includes or uh, number of oscillations sometimes and number of cycles also we can take so instead of oscillations we can take cycles also number of cycles per second is called the frequency so it will be measured in hertz will be measured in hertz in india we follow a constant frequency for every equipments all electrical supplies that will be 50 hertz 50 hertz so whenever we hear the hear the number 50 hertz we should understand that there are 50 cycles per second that means if it is a one cycle one positive cycle and one negative cycle for as example i have taken a sine order waveform if it is a 50 hertz means so this type of complete cycles are 50 cycles are there per second so we can assume for one second 50 cycles if one cycle is there what is the time it will take 1 by 50 it is more or less equal to 20 milliseconds so that means for one complete cycle a sinusoidal cycle it will take 20 milliseconds and for half cycle it will be 10 milliseconds so here the seconds is nothing but we can take uh, take it as a time period also time period time period time period is defined as the time taken to complete one cycle time taken to complete one cycle is called time period it will be represented with t in seconds or milliseconds okay so if you uh, after positive cycle and negative cycle again the uh, cycle will repeated again the cycle will repeated again to positive and negative cycles so the time at which the waveform started until the waveform repeated the same okay up to that point the time will call the time period so one complete cycle so time taken to complete one complete cycle or one revolution is nothing but a time period so these are the fundamental things we need to know and next one is amplitude amplitude is defined as the maximum positive or negative value of an alternating quantity is called so amplitude that is the maximum or minimum value of an alternating quantity in a waveform is called the amplitude and it is also known as peak value peak value or maximum value maximum value so it is also known as peak value or maximum value. so maximum or minimum value value of an alternating alternating quantity is called the amplitude and the next one is phase and phase difference the phase of an alternating quantity is the time that has elapsed since the quantity has last passed through zero point of reference so uh, for example if i take suppose if i time table uh, sinusoidal waveform i taken so this waveform has uh, 180 degrees sorry here it is 2 pi here it is pi for a sinusoidal waveform right for sinusoidal waveform it is 2 pi and sorry it's 2 pi it's a pi why because sin 2 pi 0 and sin pi 0 it is 0 degrees if a waveform started it started after zero after zero point like this it is also a sinusoidal waveform but started at some value let's take it as a 30 degrees 30 degrees suppose this may be current i1 and this may be current i2 
so the phase of i2 will take it as 30 degrees phase of i2 current phase of i2 current will take it as a 30 degrees and i1 current will be a zero and next one is the phase difference so when we are talking about difference there should be two waveforms we should compare two waveforms to know the phase difference so here the phase difference between i1 and i2 is 30 minus 0 it's a 30 degrees so dc is called the phase difference so this part is called the phase difference between i1 and i2 okay and uh, one more um, important terminology average value rms value peak factor form factor is there but when you are talking about the fundamentals of uh, alternating quantity these terminology these terminology will play a major role waveform cycle frequency time period amplitude phase and phase difference so these things should be uh, understandable and you should understand these concepts clearly so mainly frequency and time period so we can have relation between frequency and time period f is equal to 1 by t f is equal to so reverse of the time period is nothing but a frequency if the time period increases if the time period of a so waveform increases then automatically the frequency decreases why because the time increases means the time taken to complete one cycle will be increases then automatically the frequency of occurrence occurrence of cycle is automatically reduces right so the concept you should understand better in this way right uh, i hope everybody will uh, understand about these uh, fundamentals uh, terminology fundamental terms of these single phase ac circuits right uh, in the next class we will start discussion on average value how to calculate average value rms value form factor so those things will be discussed in the next class right thank you have a nice day